Hello there. Bobo, the Bitcoiner is back. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about technology. How the world changed with technology. The first thing that comes to our mind is disruption. For the better. Take the example of uh, uh, Uber disrupting the uh, taxi business. Airbnb disrupting the hotel business. It disrupt with the notion of making it things easier, cheaper and faster. And both prove to be very successful, right? The similarity lies in the quick and cheap model. It drives down costs and gain productivity. Result, efficiency. Uber and Airbnb took a shorter time to take off because it is easy to embrace. You try it out, experiment the difference, and once it demonstrates to be good, you adopt. All right. And if you think it this way, if you experiment with Bitcoin, which is also demonstrated to be quick and cheap, you should readily adopt uh, Bitcoin also, right? <laughs> well, not so fast. Bitcoin involves money, man. To experiment, you are putting money up front. If it don't work, your money at risk. That's the big, big difference. The bigger picture is Bitcoin is disrupting a global skill and the business uh, it is disrupting is universal financial uh, uh, business. It strikes at the World Bank, Central Bank and the government proprietary. It's completely a different story. Bitcoin is fighting the monetary giant. Not only the organization, World Bank, Central Bank and government, it's also fighting the rich and powerful, the elite, the politicians, jeopardizing their rice bowl. You can see that, that it is no small mountain to climb. Eh? Overcoming traditionals built by centuries. But that is exactly what Bitcoin is doing all these 12 years. And it shows the world that it was done in the most fair manner. Yet, truthful, without uh, uh, trusting any uh, human being, transparent and secure in the decentralized blockchain, unhackable, and voluntarily used by people of the world. The hurdle of Bitcoin is you need to try it out with your money. First natural instinct, wait a minute. Is it a scam? Is it safe? Uh, will my money go to zero? You sure it works? Prove to me it works before I make a try. The natural ins instinct of us, right? So the early uh, believer experiment with it. They believe in Bitcoin technology. They took the risk. They proved to us that after 12 years, Bitcoin network uh, really worked as designed. <clears throat> it had proven, yes, it was fast and cheap. It works without a third party or middleman. All transactions uh, has been true and correct up to now. Not a single transaction was interrupted or did not go through. All transactions have been faithfully recorded in the decentralized uh, blockchain. Every single transaction in the blockchain is transparent for the whole world to see. None of the transactions in the blockchain has been changed, deleted or corrupted. That means never be hacked. It's totally trusted. No one to trust, uh, no need to trust anyone or anything except the ecosystem. A completely fair and honest system. This is really unbelievable. Something in the world had never seen before. It's simply magical and has been uh, executing right before our eyes. 
Now, how can anyone say this is a bubble, a poison rat, a scam, a tulip man maniac, no intrinsic value, not improving the transaction method, not a better monetary system? So why some quarters are still against it? When we think back, it has become clear now. The bank are against Bitcoin because it's disrupting their business. Central bank against Bitcoin because it's disrupting their authority to control. Government are against it because it's taking away their sovereign flat currency. Politicians are against it because it took away their power to influence. The elites, the super rich and the organization are against it because there's no room to corrupt or manipulate to their advantage. The financial uh, gurus who is responsible for the bureaucratic structure are against it because they think monetary system must be controlled and regulated in most cases to their selfish advantage. So ultimately, who enjoy the freedom? Not just monetary, but humanity and integrity even. The people enjoy are the majority of the world population. People in the lower rank of society, people who all these years do not have a say or a voice. Poor people can now be their own bank, no matter how little money they have. But permis uh, permissionless, free to use your hard-earned money as you choose. Cannot be censored or confiscated. Cannot be stolen, uh, robbed or steal if you know how to uh, keep your private key safely. It is a fair and honest system. It fixes the current corrupt monetary system that lead, uh, led to uh, manipulation. It fixes the problem of centralized ledger that led to inflation, uh, wealth inequality, and censorship. Globally, 4.2 billion people live under oppressive region and dictatorship. That confiscate wealth from citizens, either through force or capital control. These citizens do not have the option to live as their bank account will be frozen. Whether you are powerful, rich or poor, everyone is the same in the Bitcoin network. Anyone in the world is free to participate, irrespective of nation, color, race or religion. With Bitcoin, one becomes a global citizen. It gives financial freedom back to the individual. You fix the money, you fix the world. Technology is certainly in the forefront of every industry today. Why should we need middlemen who are not only slow down the process, at cost and worse of all, manipulate and corrupt the system? This is why technology is now disrupting the traditional way of doing things, which is not fair and not honest, right? Sound logical? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. Don't forget to like. See you next time. Bye-bye.